Hi everyone, welcome back. In my last video, I showed you how you can use the hotspots to show information, images or videos uh, on your uh, virtual tour. So now I started again where I left off in the last video. Uh, you can see I still have the hotspots I added while I discussed the last video. All right, now in this video, I'll show you how you can use the scene type hotspot. All right, so you can see there is a second type called scene type. Uh, basically, with the scene type hotspot, you can connect two scenes. What I mean is that if you click on one, it will take you to a second scene. All right, so let me just demonstrate it to you. So let's just add another hotspot. I'm, uh, before I do that, let me show you I'm in the first scene and I'm in the hotspot tab. I'm adding a new hotspot. And let's say I want a hotspot here because my second image is a view from the stairs to the living room. So I think this would be appropriate place where I can add that hotspot. So I'll just collect the coordinates and give it an ID 0009. And now I'll choose the hotspot type as scene. Okay. Now when you choose the scene type hotspot, you see that you still have the option to add on hover content. Let me just show you that how you can select what scene a person will go to when he'll click on the hotspot. You see this uh, option called select target scene from list. When you click here, it'll give you a list of all the scenes you've included with its IDs. So the scene ID you assign, they'll be listed here. Uh, to identify it much easier, you can take help from the gallery on the preview image. All right. So as you see, my second scene, which is the staircase, uh, the ID is 0002. So I can just choose 0002. And if I want, I can add an on hover content for now. Let me just uh, show you the transition. I click on preview and you can see I've added a hotspot and this time it has a hotspot with an arrow. So when you see an eye bubble here, this is basically the hotspot icon for an info type hotspot. And when you see the arrow, uh, this means uh, you have added a scene type hotspot. Now these are not fixed. You can customize these icons uh, to appear differently in the front end using font or some icons, but I'll show you how you can do that in another video. So now uh, if I click on this hotspot, you can see it's taking me to my second scene. Great, right? So now you might question, how will I get back to my first scene? Well, to do that, you have to add another hotspot in the second scene and use the target scene as the first scene. Let me just do that here. All right, let me go to the second scene. Okay, and in the hotspot, let me add another hotspot. And let's say I want the arrow to come over here. Okay, so let me take the coordinates in and give it an ID. And uh, I'll choose the scene type hotspot and select the first scene. Okay, so now when I preview, I'm currently on the default scene and if I click on this it's taking me to the second scene and as you see I added a hotspot here if I click on it it's taking me back to the living room great right so that's how the scene type hotspot works it's really simple and doesn't take much time to uh, implement all right now I'll show you another interesting thing about the scene type hotspot uh, as you can see, there is something called target scene peach and target scene yo. What does this mean? These are basically coordinates to indicate where you'll be facing when you go through that hotspot. So you see, when I click on this one, it takes me to the default scene face of that tour automatically. And if I click on this one, it always faces here. But what if I want a different view? Let's say uh, when I click on this one, rather than viewing here, I want to view in this direction. So that's when I use the target scene peach. So for that, what I need to do is that uh, I first need to go to the scene for which I'm editing the hotspot for. So uh, this hotspot is in scene one. So I'll just go back to scene one and go to hotspots and find out the hotspot for which I've included this. So this is the hotspot where I used the scene type hotspot to take me to scene two. All right, so for this one, I'll click on this and go to scene two and decide on what point I want to view after I click on the hotspot from the second scene. Remember, so 
For target scene pitch, you have to collect this pitch in your from the scene uh, where you have gone to after clicking on the hotspot. All right. So now I want to be facing in this direction uh, when I click on the hotspot. So this time I won't click this one. If I click on this one, it will just take coordinates to the hotspot. For this case, I have to copy the pitch in your. Okay. So I'll just paste it here. There you go. So now if I preview, let's see if I click on this hotspot, I'm viewing in the direction I wanted in the second scene. See, so that's how you use the scene type hotspot. Uh, you can add an on hover content on it and it will work just fine. So let's say since this is for the first scene, uh, I want an on hover content that says walk upstairs. Okay, so let me just preview. See, when I hover on it, it says walk upstairs. I click on it and it's taking me to that scene. So that's how you use a hotspot for connecting two scenes so that you can move from one scene to another. All right, so that's just about it. I already showed you how to use the info type hotspot in my previous video, and this one explains the scene type hotspot. The next thing to do is to show you how you can customize your hotspot icons. We have these little options here that says hotspot custom icons. I'll uh, explain this to you in the next video. So keep watching.